as of now, we have completed like project accounting. I have not covered for your batch, right? O2C cycle. Then next one is ISO. Next drop shipment. Then P2P. These are all the cycles completed. So I'm thinking to take three, four hours, maybe tomorrow. So we'll sit down completely on XML publisher. Two, three days, we will we'll have to finish that. And in the same way, workflow also. It's just like a workshop kind of thing. Daily taking one hour and you guys are not preparing. It is not good. Okay. So I'm also not able to spend much time. Now this is like last cycles in this back to back order flow. Okay. So if I ask you drop shipment, what will be your answer? Just one paragraph. What is the definition of drop shipment? Right. What is the purpose of drop shipment? Like we have much quantity. We refer to supplier to direct to customer Correct. Right, correct. So in this case, it is supplier delivering directly to customer. But in our back to back order, the moment we require a goods, we'll ask supplier and they will deliver to our warehouse. Our warehouse people will involved in shipping the goods to the customer. It's very easy, but flow is totally different, okay? So first step is what it is, flow steps. In the flow steps, first is here, we will create a sales order. The moment we get a order from a customer, customer is buying goods from our company. Now, once we get a order from a customer, we'll create an order entry and we'll book that order. And after that, we'll create a request as we don't have a goods. So to do that, there is a progress order we have to do. Progress order. And the moment we create a requisition, we'll have to do. And then someone will go and buy the goods. That's called as a PO. And they will send the goods to us. That's called as a receipt here. So once we receive a goods, then we can proceed further based on quick release, then the further steps like shipping, everything. Okay. So these are all the steps. It's, it is also a mixture of O2C cycle and O2C cycle. Okay. Now, there are certain prerequisites, it is like prerequisites. So, first we have to create item creation, and second one is there are some attributes we need to enable while creating an item. Attributes. Then we'll enable buyer here because buyer only can buy the goods. That's called as a purchase. Buy, buyer will raise the PO. So here, buyer we need to enable. That's called as a setup buyer. And third one is to populate item, like add item to the price list. These are the steps we need to follow. And in the same way, we need to open periods. Right now, I have opened periods for all the years and months. Like till 23, I have opened. But we should know the navigations here. Periods in modules. Like one is AP, yeah, real, then inventory, touch garden. This many modules we have to open in periods. We'll see the navigations later, okay? Whenever we come to the fourth point. So these are all the prerequisites. We can easily finish, maybe compared to other flows, this is little short flow it is. So first item creation. Is it recording guys?
I am selecting master organization. That is V1. It is back to back item. No, back order is different. Back to back flow is different. Then tools copy from finished goods or purchased whatever. You may get some pop up. Just this is related to cost. It is. Done. Save. Now, like first, we'll go to certain modules here. Attributes required here. These are all the item controls like PO tab, WAP tab, general planning tab, there is a OEM tab. All the four, these are all four modules we can say. Without this, it will be equal to normal flow only. Okay. So, first is purchasing tab here. In the purchasing tab, we need to enter price, like let's say 3000, and then buyer also, default buyer. Guys, are able to hear me? Okay. Uh, in the purchasing tab, default buyer is here. Stock. Then save. This is the one tab here. Then go to general planning here. So general planning tab. We are going to buy the goods. It is not making. Okay. If you are making, uh, there is a manufacturing modules are there. WAP, BOM, and all at that time. We have to use make. But right now it is buy. It is. So we have to buy. The two modules. The next is here. Go to order management and WAP also work in process. This already enabled. If not, we have to check it. Then order management here. So these are all already enabled. But in this case, ATO assemble to order. ATO. These are all the terminology you, you can learn if you have if you have your time like. In WAP module, it will come here. PTO, PTO, PTO. This is giving full form here. That is process order. And figure to order. Assemble to order. These are the WAP. If I tell you also what is configure, what is process, you may not understand. These are the terminals in the Work in process. This is a separate module. It is. But right now, for this flow, you have to remember ATO is enabled. Okay. Let's say now, next step here is I think this is all you know already. In the P2P, also we have seen setup buyer navigation. So go to purchasing. Yes. Purchasing, and purchasing is P2P. P2P. Uh, yeah. I'll go to setup. Personal buyers. Here is a place. If you are adding any new buyer, then this is the place to add buyer here. Otherwise, not required. Anyway, we are taking stock is already existing buyer. And add item to the price list. So this you know, right? Already. You go to Oracle Pricing Manager Global. Like this setup. Yes. We have to 
Like let's say four thousand. The effective dates for a phase is line overlapping another line. You have not had another line, right? An end date is blank. Okay, well, within a price list, two price lines are matching EOM and pricing attributes cannot be overlapping. Okay. So we'll change the dates here. Right. So the single item on it is. Let's apply one again. It's just a note only. It's unload again to save. See, correct. Close this. Is there any personalization out of it? Not there. I'm just removing the start dates and dates. Still issue. Okay, I think these are all. See, mandatory fields are there here. Rising attributes. Okay, again, we need to run a concurrent program. That's okay. So it's applied. Okay. So the problem is here like, if it is not allowing you to save that effective dates and all, you have to modify the attributes here. Usually, in normal O2C and all, it does not ask. I know that. Okay. If it is asked something, like you can go to attributes. Okay, done. All the now periods will go. Just a revision only required in the organization. In AP module, like how to open a periods, what is the navigation? Payables. Then somewhere you can check accounting, control, payable periods. We have to give ledger name here. That is right. Go to find. You are looking in this number one that is it is open. So that is for AP. Tell me the navigation here. Vision operations. Okay, 
the next right correct accounting then control variable periods this is the navigation okay. the same way go to ar receivable then check the navigation for receivables in what is you have seen exams already no so here also control accounting and then right it's open i opened actually all this otherwise it is disturbing everyone tell me navigation control accounting open rules Okay. Okay. Set up directly open close. We are also open. You must remember all these navigations. Inventory. Go to. What is the shortcut key to switch responsibility? Correct. Alt and W. Inventory. Then accounting close cycle. Another one is inventory accounting periods. Right. If you are using M1, then you can go with M1. Then here is a place you can open. Clear? Then what else? Purchase order. Navigation here. Inventory responsibility. Accounting close cycle, inventory accounting period. Using purchasing vision operations, then you can check here setup financials, accounting, control purchasing period. This is our setup financials, accounting, control purchasing periods. Tell me, set up, purchasing, okay, correct, set up financial accounting, sorry, go, go through two, three times, you can easily remember all this. Regularly, we'll touch only this. Fine. And if you want to, if you want to know from back end, there is a query. I don't remember whether I sent or not. Previous query in Oracle Labs. Yes, we discussed, but I, I don't think so. I sent a query. This is Single table that is GL, GL period statuses, but we can easily check from back and like copy and give the period name setup book side it is all so that you can come to know. Okay, straight away it will be available in Google, but only you must remember one table that is GL period statuses and application as well. Application means which module it is is it payable, receivable, general nature, inventory kind of thing. And the join condition also, you need to remember here, application mm -hmm. ID. Okay. Sir, there is a doubt. Sir, hmm. in this, uh, in this uh, cycle, hmm. we, are opening, we are basically opening all the modules. All the periods. Yes, yes. Otherwise, the data will not be able to create. But sir, in previous cycles, we are not doing this. 
Yeah, that is the reason why I'm covering actually. So it, it will be helpful for all the flows, P2PO2C. It's a common generic, right? Okay. So now next step here is order entry here. You go to order management. Sales orders. Back to back, right? Someone has created the same name. Better keep your name. Capital letters inside. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Then three quantity, the same. The 5,000 we added. Availability, we don't get any availability because we don't have a stock. That is the reason why we are buying, okay? So each and every stage, we have to track that status. Go here, order entry, header level, and as well as live level, both will Whatever the flow it is, initially it will be entered only. When users are working, they may stuck at approval or they may stuck at booking level. So we should help them by doing uh, by giving a support. That is the reason why this statuses you must know as a developer. Users may not aware. Okay. So let's book that. Also yeah, backend also we can check. Save close, right? Right. So enter, then book order. In case of a normal O2C, these are all common because we don't have a stock only. That's why we're continuing. If we go to line items, it is supply eligible. You may get production open also in this. So at that time, we have to disable a sourcing rule. Sourcing rule, I'll tell you where we need to enable. That is line level supply eligible. Okay. At header level, obviously, it will be booked only. Okay. So as of now, order entry as well as booking is over. Clear? Now next is progress. So progress the order. So progressing simply will give a right click. There is a right click. Progress. Okay. Progress order. Only one value it has in this LOV. That is create supply order. Click on okay. This is a status it will change. See right now. External requisition requested. I'll let I'll copy this after progressing order. What has the line level status? You need to remember all the statuses. So we requested your system is expecting requisition is requested. So right now the data is available into requisition interface tables. So do you know the requisition interface tables? Requisition interface tables. No, that is base table, right? So you, you go 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 to here. There is an integrated integrated SOA gateway. Okay, this is the common repository for all the modules interface tables. Now tell me which product family we need to take. Correct. So that is procurement. Under the procurement, there is purchasing. And interface type is if you want it API, then we have to go with the PLS fuel. And if you want it, you know, some other electronic data interchange, EDI, or any other thing, 
concurrent program, we can go with the same filter criteria it is. So right now it is open interface. So you can go to next 10 records. This is a program, but we should know the interface table name. This is the interface table. Two tables are there. There is no header interface table. For headers and lines, only single interface table is there. PO equation interface all. In this table, you must have the data, then only you can proceed further. And this is the record. So based on the date I'm checking. But what you have to do is there is a source line ID is that right? Source line ID. Based on this, you, you can identify. Just check the this. Or a number. Yeah, no need to remember. So what is this value? Is it matching here? 853, 293. Is that correct? Line 80. So now people will ask you here, what is the link between requisition and order management? Request interface tables. Definitely the question here. Between tables, you interface tables, not base tables will be created in the thread. Okay, what is the link? In case it is there, we can check the column here. I also know. Interface line 8 seems right? That's four. Interface source line 8 is equal to line ID of your sales order. This is your record, correct? Now tell me the join here. This interface line ID is equal to line ID from OE order line. So what will be your answer here? Line ID. OE order is equal to column name. Yeah, you need to remember all this, definitely. Interface source line ID. Right, join only I'm talking. Okay. Thank you. That's it. Okay. Yeah, but uh, if I say simply OL, you may not understand. That's why I wrote a full table here. So, is that clear? Now, how to create a requisition, how to import it? There is a program name. Program name is requisition import. So this is what it is. It's a concurrent program it is in your system. Go to purchasing. Position. Check request import. Okay. So from where are you importing source? Import source. Which module? Right. Order management. Right. So order entry. So actually, uh, we have enabled ATO. Right. Assemble to order. So take this CTO. Configure to order. Uh, submit. Uh, 
Now, if you found this equation important, you can see the number of equations are created is one, but it has not given a number. To identify the number, you can go to order management again. Order management. Now, order returns and sales orders. Take this order here. Where is this order? So I can go to line level. Then there is a tools here. Scheduling. Then reservation details. Supply tab. Here is the place you can see your requisition number. So this is a number. 16554. Okay. You are on this particular order line. The requisition created is 16554. Okay, and it's quantity also. Right now, three quantity, and here also three quantity. We are right now in PO, but we check from order management. So we'll go again, okay, just for remembering. Tell me how to go. First, tools, scheduling, scheduling. sorry. Tools, scheduling, then. Right. Reservation details, then correct supply tab, and here is the place. This is a number. And what is its status? Your requisition status is it approved. Anything here? It's not there, right? Your requisition is created. Can you guess what will be the line level status of sales order? Same only. Uh, yeah, it's open, sorry. So the equation is created as well as approved, right? So after this, your line level is sorry. earlier requested. After creating a requisition and approving, it will be open. Open means it is created. Next is buyer. Buyer has to create a PO. So how they will create a PO? Change spending. Save. Let's save. Okay. Yeah. I'm instead of going purchase order here itself, there is a purchase order module. So instead of switching, this is all difficult, right? Go to auto create. <coughs> These defaulted values you have to clear. Many people are not clearing this. So it will not match, right? Clear. Then the equation number, this one. And the standard view, automatic, any supplier. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, on that day, like some palm personalization was there on this window. I disabled that. Okay, if you go to if it is not opening properly, diagnostics, custom code, and personalize. So, this I deleted actually here. Some personalizations were there. Okay, automatic.
create this is a text message yeah this type of personalizations giving an issue right go to is all i'm deleted now you'll not get that issue what are the create review if you wanted to check again go to order returns and sales order You need to go to tools, same, same navigation, scheduling, reservation, supply tab, still requisition. That means we have not created, we failed to create that because of that window. Going here, auto create, here, create it but not approve, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's purchase order is created, but it is not approved, it seems. Uh, if you want, you can check here. Yes, I'm correct. Six eight six eight six eight six two. You. And sales order status. It's an incomplete right now. Okay. Let's contact. Let's approve. Okay. Now go and verify. In. Sales orders. You open. You have to be careful with the status. No receipt. Till receipt we can create. Navigation here is receiving, sorry, we went to service. Purchasing, receiving, then receipts. Then we want purchase order number. Take this PO number. Based on the destination it is. Is it correct? 6862 only, right? Go with the V1. Uh, sorry, M1. Change organization. Right? So at the line location level, it has taken the M1 related ship to. So you have to check M1 here. Yeah, we booked it from like M1, right? If you go to order management, yes, we booked it. So we need to receive to M1 only. Take this, check the checkbox here. If you get any type of notes, you can ignore. 
then sub inventory stores or whatever appearing here let's say stores save take this step four now you go to verify the sales order status this is the last step in this flow okay hardly six steps are there So once you get an awaiting shipping, you can proceed further with the pick release, shipping, invoicing, this all. Okay. Yes, we the support will come to the picture. So till only six steps we require. Till we receive the goods into the our warehouse. Okay. So I hope we've gone through well. Go through it all. So guys, do you have any questions online? We flow is completed here back to back order flow deepali do you have any doubts then lakshmi no i have no, to sir. check and then yes finish all the cycles then only you'll be able to understand further depending xml reports conversions all those yeah how about you rohit pratham vinchana Fine, sir. Notice. Okay. So let's have a status meeting in the evening. Like I need to know, like how many topics you completed. Just ten minutes. Nothing much. Okay. If okay, I, sir. Please remind me. All like it applies to not only pay them. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you.